Yeah, so I really, I really fucked up. I shouldn't have done this and shouldn't have cut it so close. Um, it, it's, I really lucked out that there happened to be a house right here where I needed it. They had an extension cord right there. Again, total dick move, but nobody's here. And I, I, I totally, I knocked on the door. I'd, I'd even pay them. Uh, I'm just hoping I get enough charge and get out of here before anybody comes out here and freaks out on me. But but anyway, so I don't really know what exactly is going on. I know you're not supposed to take these cars all the way down, um, but this keeps stopping. So it'll go, um, and then all of a sudden it'll just click and stop. It'll say charger malfunction under the uh, at the dash. Um, and I'll probably be able to show you because it's been consistently doing this. Uh, so then I, I, at first I was restarting the car uh, five times and it cleared it. Uh, but then I realized I didn't even have to do that. See, it just faulted. So all I'm doing, unplug it and plug it back in and it restarts. So I've been doing this for 45 minutes, 50 minutes. And I actually, as soon as I pull over, uh, there happened to be a guy who saw my car and my trailer. I'm in the country right now and he pulled over and he just left. He's been here hanging out. He, he knew about electric cars. He was really into all this stuff. Um, and yeah, he, he actually pulled up just as I turned off the, um, the camera for my last video I just made. So he assumed I was making a YouTube video. Just funny guy, but it just, it's so interesting how every single time I charge people see me and stop and, and we chat it's uh it's pretty funny never fails uh so then his buddy stopped by and he I told him all about the trailer and everything too and really nice guys and it just it helped me waste an hour quickly and yeah so here I am uh I'll show you my display So I'm up to five miles that you can see it flickering the video. It was flickering earlier visually here, but now it doesn't look like it's flickering. Um, see, stop by system malfunction. So just got to keep doing this. Uh, so I didn't have five miles that popped up about half an hour ago. Unfortunately, it hasn't increased yet. Uh, I'm only 1.6 miles from my house and it's all downhill um, but I just I'd like to see that tick up to at least six just so I I, I know that it's it's charging it says it's charging right now so charging is active 34 hours at 110 or uh, 120 and of course this car is really finicky and I, I really hope I didn't damage anything by letting it go so low and then man I don't even know about the T-Rex I, I got out of the car and all of these lights here were flickering I could hear the contactor uh, flipping on and off um, man I don't know I'm hoping that because I don't have a charger, I don't have a way to charge this thing directly, and this charger's acting goofy, so I'm hoping once I get home, uh, maybe my 220 will work better, and then I could open the, or close the contactors and let the let them balance, and get that charged up a little bit more. Um, I really don't know, but I, I shouldn't have done it. And here we go. I just got to keep doing this. I passed so many chargers. I passed that free charger at the visitor center that I've been to a couple times now. I, I could have stopped there, uh, charged for a few minutes and, and been fine. But I really thought it'd be fine. But they're just the weather was so bad. The wind was so heavy and it took a higher toll than I thought it was going to. So my total, uh, I think it was two, 206.5 miles or something like that. That's it. So, all right, well, I'm probably gonna try to venture home here shortly. It really sucks sitting on the side of the road for an hour when I'm so close to home, but 
All right, well, I guess that's it for now. Wish me luck.